we are very happy because it just happened two days ago and I mean the first day was the, the world record, you know, that was beaten yeah, in Singapore, the best, the best they ever had for an open, for first day opening. In numbers, in clients and in sales. So the response is much, much more even than what we've been expecting, so it's, it's cool. Start always. I, I start to, to start. With, I like to start with a retail shop. Retail shop, you know, you have the best of that. You have the macarons so that we see how people react, and the reaction is very positive. So, and from that, if we have a lot of customers, Singaporean local customers, that ask for a cafe, think, wow, well, we're going to find a tea room. Of course, we'll encourage you know us just to try to expand, you know, one side or the other, or the other just to try to find a location in Singapore to have the tea room. I would love to. Yeah, of course, of course. Oh, I don't. I have no idea where. I have no idea where. Very, you know, the baby just born. You know, it has two days. So we have the two twins. You know, the counter on the retail shop that just have um, opened two days ago. So we're gonna let them leave. Let's see how the customers react. I mean, in Singapore, in the long run, probably we'll have these two shops on the cafe. It's not a matter of that we wanted to be Hong Kong first. The idea for us was to find Singapore. I, I think I started the discussion in Singapore six or seven years ago. So it was the right time with the right partner on the right location. So we came. They are made in one, yeah, we have one central place in Switzerland, in fact. Yeah. Yes, that, and, and where we, we produce and ship. It all depends how many macarons you're gonna eat today, but it's, it's one or twice a, a week. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but the quality is controlled, you know, in the, there is one manufacturer where we do control the process, I mean, of course the raw material, you know, the sourcing of the raw material, the process, which is an historical tradition and process of production of the Ladura Macron. So we do control from A to Z. <coughs> and then we just ship the macaron over the world. It's orange blossom. I do love all my babies because they're all my babies, but it's orange blossom, which is my real favorite. Singapore is going to follow exactly the same seasonal uh, calendar than in France. Anytime we're going to have a new, for, let's say for spring and summer, we're going to have new products. Same time we're going to launch in Paris, it will come in Singapore with the new products, new blocks. Anything that's new is going to come at the same time here. You know, I've been thinking, usually I like to take inspiration of the place I'm opening, to take a fruit or a spice or something that comes very traditional from the place and make a macaron from it. But from the last experience I did, I did it, for example, for the launch of the boutique in Beirut and for the launch of the, the, the boutique we did in New York. And I saw that, in fact, the local customers, they did not buy really the macaron that has the local test. They wanted to have the Parisian test. So I think that we have to follow up, you know, with the La Durée tradition, which means that it's a French lifestyle. And this is why my customers went over the world. So it has to stick with the French test. I want to welcome you know, the Hungry Go Well readers that hopefully is going to be welcomed at the La Durée Boutique in Singapore.